clues and banter. Hello, sir. Hey, Frank. Welcome back. Thank you. From your travels. Yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Happy National Beer Day. Happy National Beer Day, everybody. We've, uh, again, I think this is a, um, a a routine, but we've pre-gamed a little ahead of time. <laughs> we got, yeah, we have to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, with today's beginning, we're going to... Before we start, I want to apologize to all the listeners for terrible audio. We had an issue with our episode three recording, and I was so bummed and just had a really difficult time trying to make it tol- tolerable for listeners and it was just tough so i'm really sorry and those fucking squeaky chairs we're gonna burn them <laughs> <laughs> and we did identify the issue so it should be correct we now. corrected it yeah and you, i mean we're new at this so <laughs> as things happen we'll learn we'll fix we'll correct and we'll get better at it and we appreciate everybody being patient and sticking with us uh so thank you guys yeah. plus we're really fucking cool so that's right so. <laughs> All right, let's start. All right, let's what are we drinking? Beer. Yeah. So this is, um, we're going to start with an Ardennes Pale Lager. Ah, these are the guys we tried at the brews, Brew Fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good guys right out here out of Geneva. It's, this is a 5.2% uh, oh, cool. ABV. And um, really, uh, right off the bat, uh, this is probably my favorite label I've ever seen. Describe it, because I think people would like it. <laughs> it's a, um, it's yeah, it's a French bulldog. I mean, you know, we're animal lovers. We both have dogs. and um, With a tongue out in the field. Yeah, really. And then they're cute dogs anyway. But I have a pug mix, which doesn't really look much different than this. And I, you know, I put that on Instagram today for National National Beer Day. So. Yeah, and this, this label will also be on Instagram. Yep, yep. And um, let's try this right now yeah. so we can get started. Have you ever been to Geneva? Yeah, that's where I bought my little car here. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. I like Geneva. It's, it's beautiful there. No, these guys, we, we met them at Brewfest. They took the time to speak with us. and um, I think Geneva is where the first um, female college for physicians. I think I'll have to double check that. Yeah, I'd be very happy if you're right. But if you're wrong, then you look like an asshole. Then I'm wrong. I'll admit it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about looking like an asshole. All right. Cheers, buddy. Here's the first one. Cheers. That's good. I like that one. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That that is good. No, these guys. Um, the the taste is not like sharp, right? No, no, it's not. It's um, it's not overwhelming, and uh, I can't see the color in this wooden mug. Yeah, that, that's gonna be difficult to see. We, we can switch to pint glasses if we have to. That's okay. But this is um, you know, it's definitely a, it's definitely a light beer. I mean, this is something I would imagine would be good with just a sort of regular regular dinner with, you know, sandwich, burger, fries, something like that. Yeah, and the can, it says, great to uh, pair this with your favorite burger. Ah, see? And what uh, did you say earlier? About what? Anything with a burger? Yeah, well, anything with a burger is good. Because yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, um... Thank yeah. you, guys. Yep, I appreciate that. And, and again, thanks again for spending the time with us and, and talking to us. And, um, you know, we've got some others we'll we'll talk about later, maybe this episode or maybe later episodes, depending on how yeah. well this goes. Yeah, we can just say, I mean, I, I, I can mention it now from our Boston trip. We, we got a lot of free beer to try out in our episode, give them a shout out, do a review. Um, one store in particular in uh, Nahant, Massachusetts, uh, sponsored with a bunch of beer. So mm-hmm. thank you. Yeah, we've got um, we've got some Applejack. So yeah, I mean, we'll uh, we'll bring that up later as well. And uh, there's a little history I didn't know about Applejack, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah. So let's let's yep. get into it. Thanks for everybody for uh, you know the reception and welcoming us, and uh, you guys will hear about that a little later. For sure. So I just wanted to also start off with, um, you know, a, a new guy we made contact with on um, Instagram. He's a local guy. His name is D Bartender. It's it's, you know, his Instagram is hashtag 
D B A R and then the number ten. Then D E R. So he's a he's a gentleman, a little different platform than us, but he he kind of reviews the um, you know drinks and, and food locally as well. Um, he's more established than we are, but we we connected and seems like a great guy. We've uh, we've exchanged some information and some other you know product and um, again I just wanted to thank him. He, you can see that he uh, he made a little post for us on um, on Instagram and. Uh, you know, for the stories. So we appreciate that. And, and thanks again for, you know, supporting local guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. D bartender. We're always happy to hear from our fans. So getting into this now, um, I don't know that we really need to talk too much about the rosy recap and with, the, with Whoopi Goldberg, but I did have a, a close friend of mine tell me that, you know, <laughs> in relationship to this, he said that, if he had to choose, he would rather have sex with a male coworker at the intersection of some major road while we recorded him for an hour just because he doesn't want to pick between these two. Well, it's easy for someone to think about it rather than when you just surprise me with that. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> well, but I like our answers better. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... um. It's uh... And so we actually had a, a short meeting before this episode, and we've decided we're going to go ahead with episode arts on Instagram. Right, Frank? Yeah. Yep. And if some of these arts get removed, you know, it's okay. We'll just keep going. We'll understand better what the algorithm is okay because some of these arts are not appropriate <laughs> yeah there's going to be some offensive things but again it's ai cause but we're, it's we're, for it's for adults and we don't care and we'll see we're, we'll see where those limits are but we're always going to push the envelope you know not not because we're trying to prove a point we just don't really know but we want to have fun doing it so you'll see some shit and you'll be like what the fuck is wrong with these guys <laughs> and you know that's really no different than people just say to normal conversation but you'll 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 get to know us and it's um, the i guess the the episode artists kind of like when you say something, you're like, oh, fuck, should I, should I have said that? Mm-hmm. But it's too late. <laughs> yeah, episode art is more like... So uh, it's like, let's say we've generated it, like we created it, we, we uh, posted it, and oh, well. Yeah, it is what it is. and We'll you know, get feedback. And... Slap my dick, we'll move on. Whatever, whatever happens. <laughs> but it's all for giggles. <laughs> I, uh, it, I, I was so, I was thinking about this. I have this app. Uh, I don't know who knows about this, but maybe you don't even, about Untapped. Do you ever hear Untapped? No, it's this app you can get. Um, I'm not. I can't remember right now. I think it's. I think it's U N T A P P D. It might be E D, but it's called Untapped. Anyway, it's global, and um, and I've used it. And you know, we've gone overseas. We've gone to you know Norway, all these things. Um, But it's it's an app that you can uh, check in where you are, and then you can rate the beers. Mm. You know, based on whatever it is, and you know, there's a lot of things obviously across the world. That, that we're never going to have access to unless you uh, you go there. But um, it's just a really cool app to share. And you, you can friend request and you can share with other people. It's just a, a really a really simple, cool app to use. Yeah. I like it. Yep. You know what other app? I don't know if you told me that this app exists or not, or maybe we're talking about it would be cool to have this app where you pin where you pooped. Yeah, places I pooped. Did you? I have that app. Oh, so it exists. Yeah, so if you want to... My my username on that is uh, Sir Poops a lot, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's another thing. Like you could just like the bathroom at Disney in Germany, yeah, perfect. <laughs> but <laughs> there's uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so this is a <laughs> because the air conditioner blows right on that toilet. It's great because it's always hot there. Do you yeah. label what stall it is? <laughs> yeah, I, you could put all kinds of comments, but it's it's just a, another cool app. Like I, I don't know, I have all these apps, and um, but it's it's um, it, again, you can you can request things and. And it's it's just you can share information like this was a real shithole. You don't want to go there, like literally a shithole. <laughs> but I thought you were joking. No. So I I want to get. I a never nap. joke. I'm 100 percent serious. On our trip to Boston, I was talking to a friend, and I said, I think there's this app where you can mark where you pooped, because we always joked about our kids always find the weirdest fucking places to poop. One time, my son wanted to poop on the way to Florida. I think we were in Pennsylvania. 
I don't remember the name Man, of the it town. Sucks. You're like two hours into the trip and got a <laughs> dump already. And he wanted to poop in the most bizarre town I've ever seen. It's just one street, and anything to the right or left of that street is nothing. It's just trees, and people don't even know about Uber or Lyft there. Because the so what happened is I pulled over, oh, and as soon as I pulled over for him to take a dump, my cable from my transmission shifter broke. <laughs> This is like tumbleweed going through this fucking town. Like, what's happening? I don't know. And then the tow truck driver came, and I said, can we all jump in your car? And he's like, no, no. I said, well, is there like Uber or Lyft? And he's like, I, I don't know where that is. I was, I just, I don't know. I, I didn't, I know Amish people probably don't know what Uber is because they use horses, but. You can Amish Uber? Oh, my God. Yeah, see? How fucking cool would that right. be? And they take cash for everything. But they can't use electronics, though. No, they can use, like, LED lights and shit. They're battery-operated, but they can no, give them cash. No, but, like, they would need a smartphone to be on Uber. Uh, but how like... fucking cool would <laughs> Uber a fucking... But Mennonites can. Mennonites can there use, There you like, go. Yeah. If you guys are listening. Yeah, there you go. Go for it. <laughs> I, um... Anyways, yeah. where was I going? Yeah, so that's where the conversation about the poop app came up. So I told them I wasn't sure if it's an actual app, and I was going to talk to you about it. No. So I'm happy that I confirmed that, <laughs> and I'm fucking downloading that app. No, it's <laughs> and, 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 yeah, you should share it. But so, so did he hold his poop until he found a desolate place to poop in, or was it like, oh shit, Dad, I got to poop right now? Or another thing he does is we'll sit in the restaurant waiting for the food to come, yeah. and like. 30 seconds before food shows up, oh, yeah. he has to go to the bathroom. Yeah, And that's the thing with kids. Like, like, like what are you doing this entire time we've been sitting? <laughs> when you're a baby, you just shit everywhere. Who gives a shit? But like when you're when you're like this age, like above baby, you know, preteen, whatever Child. it is, you have log shits. I mean, these things are not like, I mean, they're they're almost poking out your throat. They're backed up like so much. <laughs> like scooping yeah. an adult shit. <laughs> yeah, because they don't have this rectum that's 50 years old. It's all like, you know. It's literally beating the shit out of your shit. Some stuff I've seen, I was like, did that come out of you? Yeah, but how much lighter are you when you're done? You're like, man. You know what I've done? Like a Tommy Lee poop. <laughs> I got something about Tommy Lee. I've gone on the scale. Uh. And let us know if anybody done that. I got on the scale. Then I'd taken a shit. Then I went back on the scale. <laughs> to, see, oh my God. to see how much I pooped. I say, oh, my God, like, not like I'm disgusted, but I'm like, oh, my God, I love you because I do something. <laughs> so, <laughs> let us know if you do it. Hashtag weigh and poop. <laughs> so, um, oh, the Tommy Lee thing you said, right? Yeah. The whole Tommy Lee started when we were at Disney. and Yeah, last year, right? Was it last year? Yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah. And <laughs> my son wanted a hot dog, so we got the hot dog. Oh, my God. This thing had to be 14 years. And as soon as... <laughs> She gave you the plate with the hot dog. You said, I know I ordered a 12 inch, but I didn't know I ordered Tommy Lee. <laughs> yeah, because I had right to carry it. Her. Cause you, because your, your son's not you know big enough to be able to hold this thing. So here I am carrying this basically porn hot dog. But, you know. <laughs> so we went to Celtics game, and I, I, I was in line to get hot dogs, and I saw they had large and small. <laughs> I said, yeah, give me four small ones and one Tommy Lee. <laughs> That's how you ordered it? Yeah. <laughs> Did they know what you were talking about? I think he was confused for a second. Was it a guy or a girl server? It was a guy. Oh, if it was a girl, it'd be, that'd be better. Oh, man. But he, I think he got it. <laughs> he gave me what I ordered. Was it, was it the size of the one in Disney? It was pretty big. I'll I mean, pull... you're the wiener expert. So <laughs> <I'm asking>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a stiff one too. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I'll I'll po- I'll post uh I'll post that on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And, um, so obviously these beers are obviously tasting pretty good. Um, so we do have a couple more people we've made contact with. Um, again on Instagram, Facebook, great people. We'll talk about them later. They got some you know, product they wanna they wanna send to us for review. Um, again, local business. Uh, you know. USA made, um, small business. Some things are maybe going to be out of state or, or, you know, however that works, but there's a lot of incoming, um, uh, communications with people to try to, you know, help everybody that's, you know, in the situation we are, we're starting off and we just want to, 
Yeah, you know? it does. It doesn't matter if it's from out of state. Yep. I mean, yeah. it's U.S. based. But that's what's awesome, and what we support. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm. I've said this before. I, I'm big into supporting local. I'm I'm willing to pay a little more, and take good care of the product I've spent my hard earned money on. I wish I was your product, and you'd take good care of me. I already do. Yes, by you, the way. you do have supple lips. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We're talking about U.S. products, so I want to mention something. Um, Oakley's have certain models that are U.S. made. Mm-hmm. So I have, I bought these Oakley's. They're um, FLAK 2.0. They're made in U.S., and I've now used them for, I want to say, almost a year because mm. I've done some. Um, they look brand new, yeah. They're still in good shape. The finish is not scratched. I mean, other than like fingerprints or grease from my face. And then like the arms are still good. There's no cracking in the frame. Um, are these sunglasses or safety they're glasses? They're sunglasses. Yeah, yeah they're sunglasses. Mm-hmm. I've, I've done uh, a couple of races in them, like runs. Uh, did a boiler maker mm-hmm. in, uh, in Utica. Uh, they're great. Mm-hmm. Lightweight, stay in your face. They're not jumpy when you're running. And of course, made in U.S. Also, there are some websites I'll I'll, I'll find out and and I'll put in description. If you're a veteran, you get discounted rates from Oakley's. Um, Very nice. So look, if, if you're a veteran, um, ch- check in our description. I'll, I'll I'll find the website. I'll post it. If not, just just search for Oakley's uh, or veteran discounted websites, and you can order through them. Like if these were Two hundred dollars, and you're a veteran. You can get um, like hundred twenty bucks, hundred forty bucks, or something. The discount's like that. that big. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, for good. veterans. So well thank, deserved. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you, uh, you. Anything you, they can get, I'm all, I'm all for it. Did you ever hear DBS? No. Dead balls, sexy. That's what these glasses are. All right. Dead balls, sexy. DBS. Maybe it's you, but whatever it is. <laughs> My face has. You, maybe you've got it? dead balls. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, dead balls and sexy come together. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, that's it's kind of weird. I'm sure there's a genre for it or some sort of market, but All not right. mine. <laughs> Before I interrupt, you were going to go into something else. I brought up the, the glasses, so sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know what it was. But either way, um, I uh, I was thinking about this the other day with, uh, you know, y- y- a lot of this podcast is based on just whatever happens during the day, some day, and I'll put some little notes down to remember talking about it, but I was talking to a, a close coworker about meditation. Mm. And last episode, I said how I was on. I was on nine. Like I was just, I was just amped up. And you know, I'll get there today, maybe after the, our second beer, because that's the way this is going to go. But I, I always, and my wife, God bless her, because I always, I really, I think quicker than I'm able to react or type or talk, and then sometimes I stutter. I'm a fucking mess, whatever. But um. My coworker said, I think that this is good for me. She said she thinks this is good for me to, to have this outlet where we can talk and kind of get these things out and, because I'm always just – I'm just kind of a little, oh, little like, hyper. Like having the podcast so you can kind of like get that out of your system? Yeah, I mean I don't – I'm not a talker like that. I, I really don't like small talk. I, I really don't know that it's – I don't – I want to feel genuine because I am genuine. Like I don't want to be like, oh, you look good and you look good too. And you know, I don't care about that because um, it's a waste of time. I want to mean it. And, mm-hmm. and that's what I try to do, and that's how a lot of these conversations come up. Well, it, it's normal for how we express ourselves or what we say around specific people. Yeah. Like, you and I, pretty similar, uh, and I feel comfortable saying stuff around you that I probably wouldn't say around somebody else. Yeah. So when you are around like-minded peers, then you can kind of, like, vent that stuff yeah. out. Yeah. You can say it, get it out of your system, Right. So I get it, but yeah. but you, but it's also I mean you know you, you know your crowd, mm-hmm. and um, there's things you feel comfortable with, and and uh, you know she had mentioned to me, um, you know this is good, and she's like you should also do meditation. I'm like what, what what are you, fucking meditation? I'm like I'm not flexible, <laughs> and then I'm like where what? do your balls go when you when you when you like when you sit like where are your nuts? Like you know some people like will sit and they look cross their legs like a girl does. And there's other guys that can sit like, kind of like their their legs look like at the number four. Like I can't do either. My nuts are in the way. Like I don't have these gigantic nuts. I don't have these little t- 
tiny marble balls. But where are your balls when you cross your legs? You they squish. I don't understand that. You tuck it in. <laughs> where, where are you tucking it? I don't get it. I don't know. Put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, my my nuts, are, and I don't want the up and down nut. Like I don't want like vertical nuts. These are Nobody designed wants to vertical be, nuts. No, these are designed to be horizontal for it's a reason. Against gravity. <laughs> but I don't want to pinch them. I don't want to cut off. I don't. I don't get it. So like meditation is not for me because I can't sit. I'm not that flexible anymore. I used to be. I think you miss understanding medication and no medication i got medication (laughs) (laughs) i understand that sorry misspoke (laughs) meditation and yoga oh yoga you kind of have to be all flexible and all that stuff yeah well i guess you don't have to be but you you can do yoga to your limitations but is this like the guy in star wars yoga (laughs) yoda (laughs) (laughs) there is medication for that yeah (laughs) um but you can meditate in your comfort zone so you can sit anything like i could just stare at you and meditate it's it's about breathing controlling your thoughts i think maybe she's right maybe i need to do that because i i mean i am my mind never shuts off it's very tough to sleep Mm -hmm. it's very there's always something going on but i feel it's a responsibility as a a father a husband i I mean i get all this this is Mm -hmm. maybe it's not maybe i'm wrong but i imagine there's a lot of people maybe even you that that do this i mean um, i'd like to retire uh, when I'm healthy, mm-hmm. I mean, we got years until that happens, but I don't want to retire and be this just pile of piss. That's right, because we're both young studs. Yeah, well, <laughs> studs. Uh. <laughs> in, in when I studied traditional uh, Okinawa karate, though, we were taught to medi- to meditate to kind of get our body under control. Mm-hmm. Um, Does it work? I mean, is, is, do you see this? It took a little time to kind of understand it and, and do it properly. But it's just sitting down, we cross our legs, um, and you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth, and it's inhale through your nose, slow exhale through your mouth, and just start controlling your thoughts. Like, know. you know, so it's it's different. I mean, that's one way I've learned, and maybe that works for me, but I think there are probably so many different methods that you just need to find out or learn from someone, and that w- that works for you. But yeah, I don't, I, I'm, I'm so impatient. I don't really know. I, I need to do these things. I, I realize it's something I got to work on for myself, but um, I just don't really. I don't do those things. I don't read because do you, it, I fall asleep and I get bored. Do you get anxiety? Uh, I'm always anxious over everything. Like I don't. I don't get like super. Yeah, I, I guess I do. I probably like. There's you know. If there's 10 kids running around and no one's watching them, I'm fucking anxious. Like, I'll get anxiety sometimes because I'm overwhelming my brain with, like, work problems. And I and I just think about all the problems at once. Yeah. And I get so freaked out and overwhelmed. And the one time it was so bad I had to, like, pull over because I was almost, oh, like, hyperventilating. Yeah, I'm not that way. And then yeah. after that incident, it kind of scared me. So I remembered about breathing exercises and... So now when I get that, I think of all the problems that I'm having, I compartmentalize them. What's most important, what can wait, and what's the easiest. And I know I say what's important is first, but I take the easy ones and take care of them first because they're quick yeah. and it's less things for my mind to think about and, and, and cause me this anxiety. Then I concentrate on these important mm-hmm. ones. So compartmentalizing problems that cause my anxiety helps. And in the moment, breathing and just saying, like, it's okay. I got, I got it how I, you know, I got my technique. Yeah, I see. I'll it. take care of it. I don't, I don't self-reflect a lot like that. And maybe I should, but mm-hmm. I get overwhelmed and I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I need to prioritize. And I'm always good at that. Like, my job allows me to mm-hmm. be able to, to do that. It's good. But a lot of what I do, like, I don't, I don't, my compartment mentalizing is is what the fuck fuck you and you're not so bad like that's how it is like it's just i don't i i'm just obviously not a normal person <laughs> but it's worked for me that's that's what happens but i don't i don't want to have this you know i had this health thing you know a year mm-hmm. or so ago yeah. and i made it through that but it just puts puts things in perspective and i mean it was it was a it was a definite game changer for me in in, in my family and so I, I tried to adjust things, but I, I'm just not, I don't, you know, myself, my psyche doesn't allow me to do that. So I'll work on it. It's fine. Um, but in the meantime, we do this and have beer. Yeah. And I'm not doing fucking yoga. 
Yeah. This is good. So it's therapeutic. That's good. Um, <laughs> but I do I do know that if this kind of works out, I mean, we, we have day jobs. It's fine. Um, but if, if we do things like this and um, – and, and it works out. We generate some revenue, and we, we see what goes from here. I, I, th- I have another. There it is. Good boy. <laughs> Sorry, I, I turned away from the mic <laughs> like, this Good time. boy. <laughs> but, uh, so we um, we could start another business venture. I want to. I want it to be a restaurant, mm-hmm. but I want to call it a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so all we're gonna do is we'll, it's like we'll, another. Well, it's, it's not sexual. Like you know, I mean, we can have a Hooters theme if it's. I was gonna say it's like another version of Hooters. But it could be. I mean, whatever. Yeah. But um, we could just sell like. Breasts of meat, like chicken breasts, or mm. or something like that. And and I don't want to be. I mean, we could we could make this all inclusive. We can instead of pork chops, we can have pork cocks. <laughs> you know, like, anything with breasts, I like. Yeah, like chicken titties, or you know, chicken titties. <laughs> so chicken tenders, chicken, chicken there, boobies, whatever. There was you want. a diner somewhere here that had funny names on the menu. Yeah, but if I mean. Again, well, if you guys, if you help us out, we'll help you out. That's, that's how, right. That's yeah. We'll deliver fun, funny. Restaurant. Come to our restaurant. <laughs> how would we market that? I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. That's all. That's your category. Yeah. If it's no good, we'll just chuck it in the fucking bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I was at, I was at a gas station the other day, and I went in to get a, a drink. And some guy comes in behind me, and, and he's got to use the bathroom. Like now, now there's no keys anymore. Like the, like these things you see, like you got to go to get a key to go to the restaurant. Well, like it's attached to a fucking yeah, tire like, or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. You got to drag this big ass fucking thing. And it's probably in that town your son took a dump in. One of those things, but like, it's um, they just go in the back, and the, and then I can I know the guy. He's got the shit walk going right. Like he's like you know <laughs> no, things no, are clenching. Like, like like it's not a normal pace. It's like half pace. You're like, you know. But I'm like, oh my god, that guy's gonna completely Hulk smash the toilet, just. Bleh, bleh. And I'm like, I cannot. Under- I would hold it for a year before I would have to do that in front of people. Oh, like, like, let it out loud. Well, I mean, and the only way you're gonna do that, like, no one's got a shit so bad that it's like a solid, like, oh my god, I gotta go right now. Like, you want to get rid of it? If you're going there, you're fucking spraying liquid everywhere. <laughs> there is no chance that this is a solid poop. If you're using a public restroom and you're walking like that, it's an explosion. Oh, it's, it's it really like you might dissipate so much air that you vacuum suck your ass to the toilet seat. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, <laughs> it's gotta. And then like, they're all tile because you know, there's sick fucks that go in here. So they got to disinfect it and they got to spray it with like all this shit. So it's all solid surface, like tile because they got to just get in there with like liquid bleach and just, Douche the fuck out of it. I always feel bad for those people who have to go back and clean that. Oh, my God. I, I would hire a service. More, Whatever they charge you, it's worth it. More power to those employees who go in public resta or, or like the small gas yeah. stations and clean this disgusting yeah, bathrooms. Yeah, like, like hashtag Hulk smash. Because <laughs> really, if if I, I got to be honest with you, like this is this is right up there with clean out septic. Fuck you. I'm paying for someone doing it. And if I made a million dollars a year and it cost me a million to one to clean the fucking bathroom, I'm cleaning the fucking bathroom and I'm paying someone to do it. Okay. That is so fucking disgusting. Did you finish your uh, first beer yet? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I talk a lot. But I wanted to talk about the popcorn also. I don't know if you can on top of this. Yeah, we can. I'm going to, while you do that, I'm going to open this next one. Well, I, I, this is a. I'm a Viking. I'm right behind you. Ah, well, literally. Oh, uh, right behind. You gotta, me. So the loincloths, do they open in the back like they do the front? The what? The loincloths, like you know. Uh, do they open in the back like they do? In the yeah, back? like like they had like a I don't know, like a fucking deer hair holding on a piece of fucking leather. That's like what you use to cover your parts. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I I, I watch the show Vikings, which is one of my favorite shows ever. But it's um, I just don't know how. Maybe like it's sex better. from behind worked. Well, it probably has a seam, so you can go take a dump. Yeah, but you just like flip it up like a little, like a little, hmm, like a little French maid outfit. Like, oh, you fluff it. You're a Viking. You don't fluff shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really know what happened there. Wait. All right. What's the what's this one? This special Belge. It's, so it's, I think it's French French bulldog. I think Ardennes is French. Mm-hmm. This is I think special. Ah, special. Yeah. Like like um. Like uh, Pulp Fiction, they said Burger Royale. 
Mm. I don't really know if that was a McDonald's or a uh, Burger King reference, but I think it was like a Big Mac or something. Or a Royal Burger, I suppose, but I don't give a shit. I'm going to drink this beer. Oh my God, you're a burpy fuck, man. I can't. I can't control it. I am. So I want to talk about the popcorn because we were talking oh, about yeah. this today. Tell I've me not, about the popcorn. I've not gone to the movies in a while, mm-hmm. but I don't know if you've ever heard of Popcorn Surprise. No. I, so I got a, I got a really one of my best friends who's in my wedding. Okay. He um, this is really not even correlated, but I'll tell you a story. He used to when the when you go to the movies, they used to have uh, bags of popcorn. Mm-hmm. This is big ass fucking six pound bag of popcorn. Like, oh, if you finish it, you get a re- refill. Who the fuck's gonna eat that much popcorn, right? <laughs> So he would get this bag, and they, and then he was from he's from Minnesota, so they do things a little differently there. Uh-huh. But he'd take the bag, and again years ago, and he'd finish the popcorn or bring it home, empty it out, whatever, he did, and he'd bring the bag back with him to the next movie. And then halfway through the movie, he'd go get a popcorn because it's a free refill, mm-hmm. like the next movie. But like no one knew what you brought the bag in. <laughs> How does he hide it? Oh, like, like it's just a bag. Like you just put it in your coat. Fold it up. Sure, yeah. yeah. put it in your dick. I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. Dick popcorn, I suppose. Yeah, foreskin popcorn. But anyway, so that got me thinking like about popcorn surprise. Because now they have buckets, but you don't have bags. Probably because a lot of fuckers like this guy would bring the bags back. <laughs> so you get a bucket. But a popcorn surprise is when you get a bucket of popcorn, and you cut a hole in the bottom of the bucket, <laughs> and you stick your erect dick through it. So in your case, it'd probably be a man. But in most people's cases, you'd be with a girl, and they'd reach over to grab the popcorn from your bucket, and they they like... Follow the mushroom cap on your dick. <laughs> so it's like a little, little buttery pecker. Do you put butter in it as well? Yeah, I mean, whatever you want to put in it. I don't want dry popcorn. You got to lube it. It's like a, uh, there was a skit where I forgot which show it was on Dick in the Box. Oh, it was on Saturday Night with Justin Timberlake. Yes, yeah. yes, Dick in the Box. Yeah. I, I don't know why I know all these dick references. It's pretty weird. But I think butter dick would taste pretty good. I only, I only say that I think that would because I don't know. But I'm hoping that's the case. You know what? Butter dick. The the surprise thing you're talking about. <laughs> so we're driving back to uh, Syracuse from Boston. And I bought this little container of mixed nuts. Mm. And I put it between my legs. You had me at nuts. <laughs> I, I told my wife, would you like some nuts? <laughs> she goes, I have lotion on my hands. I said, even better. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you wouldn't want any other way. <laughs> Just perfect timing. <laughs> but why would lotion matter? Well, if you want to rub a, rub a dub, it's nice and smooth with that's, the lotion. So that's our next place. We can another place along a restaurant. We can have rub and tug. <laughs> Just get a rub and tug. So, by the way, the special special. Oh uh, yeah, Belge from Ardennes is a five point five percent ABV. It's I I've noticed this one's darker. Yeah, all good stuff. Both of them so far, love it. You know Again, the I've can's got this. a French bulldog on it. And, um, Why does one can has Think New York, Drink New York uh, logo on it, and the other one doesn't? Yeah, they support everybody. Hmm. We'll hashtag well, that. Attention to detail, I guess. And then, uh, so Easter's coming up, yeah. and uh, I went to the store, and I was like, oh, I got to get some fruit in this Adonis-like body of mine, and I'm like, so I bought some fruit, I'm like, I want some oranges, I bring them home, I'm like, these big-ass oranges, I'm like, oh, it's weird this time of year, but okay, so I get them home, and and my wife's looking, she's like, oh, yeah, nice, you got fruit, yeah, got some fruit, yeah, maybe we should cut up, we should have some oranges, she's like, mm, those aren't oranges. I'm like, oh, what are she goes, they're fucking grapefruit. You fucking idiot. <laughs> I love grapefruit. Yeah, but I don't know that I've ever eaten grapefruit like plain. You know, like what do you mean? just like I've had grapefruit flavored shit, but I don't know that oh, I've ever like juice mixes and Yeah, but like I thought these are fucking oranges. So <laughs> I'm probably like, Oh, these are really big oranges, but they're actually pretty small grapefruit. But they look like oranges. They're good for you. And then she's like, uh, on top of that, you asshole, they're fucking organic. <laughs> So I paid more for that. Like, so, I, I love the local store we have, uh, Wegmans. Great store. Uh, a lot of people outside of New York maybe don't know about it. But oh, they are now in Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. Well, there. I think there's some. They're they're along the East Coast, uh, but it's it's. If you look it up, I think they're always in the top 100 uh, companies to work for. Maybe like the top five. Mm. 
really great company. Uh, and really they support also local, local grown, um, you know, products. So, you know, here in, in Syracuse, New York, they're mm-hmm. buying, you know, New York, Syracuse products, but maybe in Virginia, they're buying Virginia locally made stuff. So, um, just a great concept. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't talking about Wegmans. I was talking about my fuck up with the grapefruit because <laughs> it doesn't taste anything like orange juice. If you guys are wondering, I like grapefruit. If you don't want them, I'll take them. <laughs> I threw them away. <gasps> What? No, I wouldn't do that, Roman. Sorry, okay. buddy. Kind of a Viking, oh, are you? You're so sad. <laughs> <laughs> little little sad puppy dog face. I want to point out how some people just can't follow simple instructions. Because I got really frustrated when we were at Celtics game. we got to be talking about women. No. Oh, fuck. Uh, actually, some <laughs> were, yeah. But <laughs> it's just everybody. Why is it so difficult to find a proper seat that you purchased for any they fucking don't have ushers? event. They don't have ushers there? Forget ushers. I mean, this is just basic knowledge, right? I mean, we all adults now graduated high school at minimum, right? Minimum, yeah. So a row number and a seat number. That's it. Is it that fucking difficult? Half the game, it was frustrating to watch people being pushed from one seat to another because they took a wrong seat. Like... Yeah. What is so complicated about finding the seat that you are assigned to? <laughs> or or when it's like a, the, a row of 100 seats and there's one person at number 50, but 1 to 49 is full and 51 to 100 is full and that fucking asshole's got to go to the middle. Of <laughs> <laughs> and get your shit like before the game. Like be courteous to other people. I had to get up fucking like 20 times. Because they wanted to go get popcorn, then they wanted to get up and go get yeah, hot dogs. They don't have a, like then uh, fucking vendors what? like selling like hot dogs here, hot dogs here. No, because you, you probably fucking suck those up. No, <laughs> <laughs> if it's Tommy Lee, yeah, the Tommy Lee hot dog. Right? <laughs> no, you just go down and you know. Oh, and, mm, <laughs> mm. I could do this all fucking day, <laughs> all day, and then you know you. Just, just their vendors out down yeah. there, but not like it's not uh, so, like a baseball yeah, game. Yeah. Get uh, your so peanuts I, and I don't know that I've been to a an NBA game. Like I just yeah. don't. I mean, it's a long season. Um, I watch. I'm a huge sports fan, but I, I would rather watch on. I could piss when I want. I don't have to go through a fucking crowd of people yeah. to get to it. But you know, I, I'd rather just be home. I think. Yeah, I mean, is there tailgating? They don't do that. Uh, at NBA, I don't know. Like football games, obviously. Like the Bills, yeah. fucking best fans ever. I've never heard of NBA tailgating. Yeah. But so I don't know how you know wasted these people are by the time the game starts. But yeah, I don't know. Just it was annoying. In so Boston, people, please just find the right fucking seat. Boston's big. Boston got a huge history, rich history, Boston, uh, for many reasons. But I like the Irish population. Boston fans are just yeah. fucking wild. Yep, yep. And I lived there for seven years, and uh, yeah, I, I've I've gone to Red Sox games. I've, I've gone to Celtics games. And, yeah, passionate Bruins, people. Bruins, yeah, yeah. So so you're a Red Sox fan? I'm not like a fan, but I guess huh? I mean I'll support it if because I'm a I've huge Yankees there. fan, so we got a problem here, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, we got a problem. Ooh. So we'll bet a tea bag, me tea bagging you. Who's got the better record this year? <laughs> Bo- the Yankees or Boston Red Sox? I'll right. tea bag you. <laughs> I mean I can't taco drop you. Or clam slime. You can't clam slime me? No. I mean, I'll try it. I'll, I'll do whatever you want me to do if you lose, but... <laughs> just tuck it in and clam slime. Yeah, just, yeah, just... Yeah. I'll make it work. I mean, whatever I gotta do. I mean, that's back to the meditation thing. I'll put them vertical if I gotta dip them in there. You know what would be funny? We, we talked about... You got a purdy mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about uh, episode art earlier. Yeah, yeah. How would we generate clam slam? <laughs> well, you're gonna, all these people out there listening, you're going to find out. If 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 a computer can't generate clam slam, I'd be fucking impressed. I mean, it put a vagina on our sumo wrestler, so I'm not really sure we even have that. <laughs> without without us even yeah, asking. Yeah, it was it. so weird cuz his toes would look like like flippers. <laughs> so I don't I don't I don't know what's going on. I mean, I guess if you drink enough, you look at it like, "Oh, that makes sense." But when you're sober, you're like, "What the fuck's wrong with these guys?" And um I was talking to another guy because a lot of these. So we talked, I think, before about kids on the school bus. They learn bad shit. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like us at work. But I was talking to another coworker, and we were talking. You know, 
we, we just make sexual references or whatever happens, but we, we, we somehow came up with the subject of, of anal sex. <laughs> somehow. Yeah, well, uh, this probably pertains to Tommy Lee as well. But instead of anal, if it's too big, they called it panel. <laughs> Like, it just, it hurts because, you know, I've never been on the receiving end of this. So I imagine it does hurt, but painal. Pain, there's probably even a market for well, that. Well, it would probably hurt depending on the size. Well, I would, I would, I would hope. I mean, if it's a toothpick, like, it's not like a hot dog down a hallway where you can't. You ever play the game Operation where you touch yeah. the metal and you yeah. zap? Yeah. Like, if you're, like, if you're trying to throw it in there and there's, no, like, your, 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 your dick's not touching anything. There's a problem there. How like, is that possible? Like, yeah, this isn't the first time this happened. <laughs> um, I would imagine everyone's asshole is pretty tight. A toothpick will touch. I don't <laughs> know about everyone's asshole. Um, All right, yeah, that's true. Watched, we don't know videos. about everyone's yeah. asshole. I've seen videos. And, <laughs> and then even going back to our restaurant, if um, you know, spicy food, instead of heartburn, you might get fartburn. You ever done that? Mm-mm. Like you fart and your your rectum just like on fire. You're like, oh my god! From a fart? Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. hot or sp- uh, like you eat a lot of garlic. I, I'm a huge garlic fan. Mm-hmm. And you fart and you're like, oh my god, that burns. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever pooped and burned. But I, I farted. Have... I'm like, holy shit! What the fuck happened? I'm like, my body temperature went up like four degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I've had. Pain. Don't lie. You're not from this country, so you've had some weird shit, man. I've had painful shits, but I'm like, oh, that's that. No, that, that's... I'm not talking about shits right now. I'm talking about just farts. No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, you don't fart? You're like I a fart. fucking little prissy fuck? I fart. Who doesn't fart? If yeah. someone says they don't fart, they're full you of shit. You probably fart and goes, me. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like when you're out of a balloon, it <laughs> boop. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all you get. That wasn't the sound effect. That was Frank with that's, a finger in me. his mouth. I'm not like that guy in Police Academy that can make all those noises, but I'll try my best. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy's awesome. Um, oh, being in Boston, I thought of a lot of cool Boston movies. Yeah. Do you like any? I like, um, uh, what was the movie with, um, it? I mean, I like a lot of Ben Affleck and uh, Oh, Matt Damon. The Town. You're thinking of The yeah. Town? Yeah, The Town, but there's also another one with... Um, the Recruit. Yep, yep. The was recruit. that with uh, Colin Farrell? Is that the one with the police department? Yep. Yeah. yeah. The recruit? Maybe. I don't know. Um, do you have a favorite? My favorite, I would say, is... Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I forgot. Mm. Again, tip of the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I could do this all day. I'll think of it later. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a lot... There, uh, or the one with um, uh, uh, Drew Barrymore and... and um, Oh, Fever Pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that we was just watched movie. that yeah, one. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm a bigger fan of Boston. Yeah. Um, honestly, because Tom Brady's gone. Like, <laughs> I didn't really like the Patriots. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not Boston, but um, New England anyway. But uh, I like Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think my big problem was with Bill Belichick. Mm. Like, I, and I don't, I don't just dislike him as a person. I just think, like... I mean, you know, this thing's all about humor, the thing we're we're doing. Yeah. And he's just got none. <laughs> yeah, he's always serious. Yeah, I mean, he's just business, which is, I'm fine. Well, we we I mean, don't know him outside of, you know, the games that we no, see him. but he's welcome on here, too. So is Tom Brady. Anybody. Anybody's welcome on here. We are all <laughs> yeah. inclusive here. Yeah, Tom Brady's going to be. <laughs> we're, we're an equal opportunity interviewer. <laughs> yeah. You want to be yourself? Come down here. I want Bailey Sarian on here. Oh, oh my. Hold yeah. on. I started the movie. Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, I so I didn't I didn't realize oh, I, I was in Boston. I love that movie. Yeah, that was that's my favorite. Yeah, Rob Williams um, obviously yeah. gone, but but what's her name? Ba- Bailey Sarian. She was in Boston at the same time as we were. Yeah, yeah, and then and, and then New York, which is where we live. What the fuck? And when she was in Boston, every time she would like post where she was, I was like, I was just there. Yeah, I was just yeah, there. Yeah, and yeah. like, I was like, oh man, how cool would it be if I saw her. <laughs> yeah, but and, Bailey. S A R I A N. She's got a couple. Um, she's got a um, murder mystery makeup uh, podcast or a, you know videos on YouTube and podcasts, and then she's got a um, dark history also. And again, we're just talking about this now. I didn't really think about talking about this, but she's got a lot of the same humor. To it. She's a good, smart ass. Yeah, <laughs> really like funny, really good stuff. I mean, she doesn't need us to help her out here because no. she's doing fine on her own. But um, I just think that we talked about last episode with these people like. Uh, you know, Ashley McBride or um, 
uh, you know, Chris Stapleton or, or Laney Wilson. I, I try to identify with people that I think are just like us, like just mm-hmm. like cool people. And uh, I think Bailey Sarah, like, I mean, she's established, she's cool, but like, I think she's come here and like we just like bullshit and dick her back and forth and she'd throw it right back at us. And, you know, when you, when you go to a bar, you don't want to hang out with a dry bartender and someone's like, eh, you know, sort of nothing. Like you want to say shit back. You want to get some, some sarcasm back at you. And, and I enjoy that. And maybe most people yeah. don't, but uh, for me, I do. And that's why we're doing this. And it's just fun. Yeah. Again, the world's got a lot of problems. We'll talk about that. But right now. But you got to have room for laughter. Yeah. Yep. For sure. And so I was, uh, I was. You ever watch Letter Kenny? I think we're talking about it on Hulu. Uh, here and there, yeah. yeah. I have to start watching. I want to start watching from the beginning. It's, it's really funny shit. But I heard I they they had this phrase called dick dingers. <laughs> you know you know what a dick dinger is? No. It's apparently, um, and I don't really condone this, but it's it's doing a line of coke off of an erect penis. Oh. <laughs> Maybe this happened in your country before. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we no, we don't get. I've this. never done this, so um, I don't really know. But <laughs> somebody Dick, Dick Dinger, who owns um, oh, can I do a plug? Yeah, we got free bottle of Applejack. Applejack, yep. So I didn't know this, but apparently Applejack is. An older style of of, of distilled bourbon. bourbon. Yeah. yeah, like a lot of people when they think of what's the oldest alcohol, and they just say bourbon. But Applejack is what actually started, um, just you know, be distilled. Is uh, this from like a like? Yeah, like where does it originate? Like, if you look, I don't know where it's originated. Like moonshine type stuff, or yeah, like when people started to uh, distill alcohol. But southern, like I mean, I, I don't know the roots. Either. I think it's from here. Uh, somewhere in the states, yeah, yeah, but I don't know, I don't know where exactly. But he he pointed that out, and it's an interesting fact. And the the bottle we got uh, was from Harvest Spirits. They're in Hudson Valley, New York. Mm-hmm. And man, what a just awesome setup! We went to the distillery. You can do, you can go in and do tasting. You can see all these barrels that are just sitting on the shelves. Uh, aging. Super impressive, yep. And the owner does all the artwork himself on these barrels. It's just like really cool setup. Yep. Um, and they're just so friendly. Their their stuff is delicious. And I just wanted to like let people know if you're ever in Hudson Valley, just go check them out. Just stop by. They they have a great barbecue place right next door. Yep. So they own they own the 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 farm, the apple farm. And, but they also, they don't just make apple jack, they make apple vodka, they make uh, black raspberry vodka, they make bourbon, apple jack, mm-hmm. I mean, and then they have a store where you can get uh, amazing apple donuts. Yep. They just like, they're fall up, yep. fall apart in your, in your hand. Like they're so good with it. No, apple. there's this, this, uh. Again, we're big entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. and, and, and we support those people and rich history down in Hudson Valley. And, um, you know, thank you to to them for, for supporting us and yes. helping us out. And, and we'll we'll actually, I mean, you guys will probably be in for a treat once we start drinking that because there'll be some starting, like, what was that word? And we'll say, we don't know. We <laughs> just kind of made it up, but good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you, Harvest Spirit, and thank you, Derek, for asking an interesting question. Derek asked, Oh no! If okay. it's a cold brew, is it a brew? Yes, unless it's like iced coffee or something. I'm gonna fuck about. That. It's made cold. Like you, do you brew it or? Did you have to brew it before? It I don't know. Became cold. That's that, that's what I'm wondering. Somebody uh, comment that in our on our social media. Let us know. Is cold brew a brew? Yeah, I'm curious. I'm I'm curious too. He asked me. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean. He's got a reason for asking, and he's going to yeah. be the expert. So. And he wants to come down and be our guest. Yeah. So thank you, Derek, and, and I hope we can accommodate yeah. you pretty soon and uh, show you around this area and, and take you to some breweries and distilleries and, and just, I don't know, bring our recorder on the road with us and record some interesting stuff. Yeah, conversations. We'll do that. He can come here and yeah. how it works. But 
Awesome. So thank you, Harvest Spirits. I guess, you know, switching gears here, I was uh, talking to my wife, and in, in, uh, she brought up this character called Big Chungus, which I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to call Roman Big <laughs> Chungus. But Big Chungus is apparently Bugs Bunny who inflates himself to be this big fat bunny, and he calls himself Big Chungus. Is but that? There's an evolution here. Like he started. She sent me this this kind of history of of uh, of Big Chungus, and I think it starts back in like 1951, maybe 1941. He was he was Wabbit Twubble. And then, and then 2012, he was Bobcats on three. Like uh, you could you could see the progression if you if Bobcats you were on three. Yeah, I don't. I, I think it's the episode. Oh. But then 2021 was Rotund Rabbit, and he's just this massive fat rabbit. But the is whole it, point of this story is Big Chungus sounds like like you ever heard of like Chode, like your your ball bag and your dick and all. This? Like I don't. Know. I'm actually kind of embarrassed that all my talk comes back to dick. I don't know why. That's okay. But Big Chungus would be like, I think that would be something you would call your dick. Like every morning? I got to massage Big Chungus. I got empty Big get, Chungus. You get Big Chungus. <laughs> well, you know, it's a funny one. When I was working in Boston <laughs> in construction, I have learned this term where you have to go empty your yogurt slinger. Yeah, your one-eyed trouser snake. <laughs> yeah. There's a website dedicated to all these names <laughs> to Dick. <laughs> well, Urban Dictionary is great for all this shit. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Yeah, Urban Dictionary is great for all that stuff. How do you like this? Um, not to change the subject, I'm just... Change it, because we're fucking talking <laughs> about dicks a lot. How do you like... <laughs> Special Belge. Yeah, how do you like, like it? it? It's not bad. No, these guys, um, they do a good job. It's a... Uh, I just I can't get. You know, I I I like drinking. It tastes good. It's great. Mm-hmm. All the stuff. And um, just looking at the label makes you. I mean, it's, it's not a. It's not a. Uh, these are not commercial people. These are these are, micro or craft brewers. And oh, speaking of that, we learned some interesting information today. Some knowledge on on, on beer because we're not professional beer tasters. <laughs> I'm I'm a professional beer taster. I'm not a professional beer commenter. Maybe you're a professional beer drinker. Oh, you're right. But I taste yeah. it when I drink it. <laughs> so there's a difference between micro brewery and craft brewery, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So micro brewery is anything under fifteen thousand barrels, which is equal to four hundred sixty-five thousand gallons of beer a year. That's a lot of fucking beer. So a micro brewery, any brewery that produces under four hundred sixty-five thousand gallons, craft brewery is any brewery that produces under 6 million gallons a year. So 565... 465,000 gallons before, sorry. is micro or 6 million gallons craft. What a, what a fucking jump that is. And I was, I was saying this earlier. I think there's this big difference is to craft breweries to be able to separate themselves up further from micro breweries. Um, to have that distinction of this is craft and this is what they're capable of versus micro mm-hmm. and you are a microbrewery. Like yep. don't don't try to tread on our territory. Yeah. So but I don't know, that that was interesting fact about beer. Yeah, I didn't it's, realize there's there's such a there's such a gap there. Mm-hmm. Um and we and we talk a lot about beer, but this is also about any like you talk about Oakleys, mm-hmm. and uh, any local business, um, any alcohol really. We talk about Applejack, which is not beer, obviously. Um, we'll talk about coffee. We'll talk about food. Mm-hmm. Again, we had uh, uh, D bartender mm-hmm. that, that we're 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 working with as well. So it's um it's interesting to learn these facts. I mean, here we are at our age, kind of learning these things, and and um and these these breweries. They don't have to be from where we are. Yep. Like, for example, when we were in Boston, uh, I, I mentioned earlier a store in Nahant, Massachusetts. So a seaside variety store um, gave us all this beer to try out that we yep. will have in a future episode. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, I, I could do it in one sitting. We could finish all this fucking beer we have, that whole fucking fridge, but I don't think I, I want to be coherent when I do yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't <laughs> think I'll know what I'm saying. 
I can do it. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, Seaside Variety in Nahant, Massachusetts. Uh, check out. They have a good selection. For being like a small uh, market store on that peninsula, they have a lot of stuff. Um, the guy who uh, manages the store, he's been there for a while. He, you know, he's got a good relationship with distributors, and he's pretty knowledgeable on which which breweries to get beer from and mm-hmm. um and thank you for all that for yeah sure. that that one place from lynn massachusetts i tried was was really good and thanks by the way for following us on instagram yeah we um you know we we drink a lot of beer on here or in life in general but um it makes you obviously you gotta you gotta, you gotta piss you gotta urinate but then i was thinking about underwear like, what is the purpose of underwear? I, I You laugh because I, this is shit that runs from my mind. I don't fucking know. Well, word under, wear. Yeah, but why are you wearing it? Like, it wouldn't be overwear if I'm putting it on the outside of my fucking pants. But why do you have it? Because then your pants would be underwear. Cause they're not... Um, Sorry, I just kicked the table. <laughs> I don't know. Burp really fucking loud. Yet. Well, I think... For guys, we have disadvantage of gravity and hanging body parts. I think underwear keeps it from being too <laughs> low to the ground. <laughs> and that's one theory. This is great. And again, people can comment on this like they do with everything else we do. Second could be, I don't know, when you take a leak, there's a drop left there. Right. You don't so, want it on your clothes. <laughs> so that's what I, saying. I, th- I think it's I think it's a dick napkin. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like, because I mean, if you piss nine times a day, there's got to be a 33 percent chance you're getting pissed on your fucking underwear. I mean, if you wear tan pants or brown pants, you're gonna see a fucking spot. <laughs> so it's got to be a dick. It's like a bib for your penis. So, so underwear is to to soak up the the, the leftovers so you don't get on your I guess, clothes. Because I shake the fuck out of it, just trying to make sure. But no matter what you do, <laughs> I'm serious. You shake the fuck out of it, just trying not to not like. I could do it for fucking ten minutes. There's still gonna be a drip. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> or it could be just maybe wear tidy whities to hold your fucking blue vein throbber in check. <laughs> maybe you get like erections for no apparent reason, and you gotta like tighten it down so you don't have this fucking I don't know, you know, pole sticking out when you're walking in your meeting at work. So but I think I think it's a, a dick bib or a dick napkin. I mean, what did, they do? what did they do before? They didn't. If you were a Viking, you had a loincloth, they'd just drip on your grass and you'd fucking go up a business. <laughs> so if, you're, if your loincloth cloth is up a little bit, that's right. a sign of erection. Well, yeah. That's I mean, a Viking version of well, pitching no, a tent. Well, you know, the Viking version is up a lot. You're up like fucking blue steel. You're like fucking, like you could, you could prop up a fucking car with that thing, like. Let's it's not a, discourage Vikings. It's here. a it's not jack. Viking. It's a jack. Yeah, jack <laughs> off. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, if you're Armenian, about... maybe it's like a like, like like a thumb, like a little tiny. How do you know? Because you're Armenian. Wait, is there like an Armenian dick size reputation? Yeah, I mean, I've seen you in in. You have? Uh, no, no. I I, I <laughs> right now disclaimers. I have not seen him. I can. I can imagine yeah. what I would have seen. Yeah, Frank has not seen anything. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this changes Ugh, up. Goodness. This whole thing goes south so quick all the I time. Our, our, our crazy minds. So you know, um, I heard this phrase the other day. It's called a gooner. You know what a gooner is? No. A gooner, I don't know the official term, but you can, again, check it on... Uh, Urban Dictionary, is someone who is completely and miserably addicted to porn. Gooner? It's called a gooner. Is so like, like 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 adults living in their parents' basement. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't say adults because maybe you're 18. And you're still, maybe If you're like over 40 mm-hmm. and you live in your parents' basement, there's a high likelihood you're a gooner. Not temporarily. Yeah, no. If Not you're there, like if you, you sold if you, your house. If, yeah, your if you're just there visiting and you're passing through, <laughs> yeah. you might be like a, a semi gooner. <laughs> but if you're if you're if you're married living there, you're not a gooner. But if you're a mm-hmm. single gooner, you are definitely addicted to porn hmm. or or something. I mean, I don't know. So barn go- animals. Gooner, someone who watches a lot of porn, who's addicted to it miserably. Like you Any hate porn? it. Porn? Who? Any porn? 
Was there other kind of porn? Like, what, what kind oh, of porn? I don't know. Gay porn, lesbian porn. I don't know. I'm not a gooner. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking you. You're, you're the one who tried to teach me <laughs> no, what I, gooner is. I, I didn't teach anyone. I'm just explaining what it is. Like, oh, okay. No, I don't, I don't know. It's just I thought about that. I'm like, that's, that's pretty interesting how there's a title. Because there's a title for everything. There's so many words. There, apparently, there's a word for the sound of the wind blowing through the trees. Whipper wheel or something like that? Something like that. I, don't know, yeah, I didn't like, know that there was like, a I word. I hear it like country music. Yeah. <laughs> um, so did you ever... We're an hour in, by the way. What? We're an hour in. So? I'll fucking keep going. I'm I do have to pee, but just... I got to make sure I got my dick napkin ready. <laughs> <Can> you... <laughs> Is there something you could talk about why I do that? No, we can pause. Let's pause that then. Okay, hold on. Be back in a minute. Emptying <laughs> the penis. Okay, and we're back. I got to be honest. I think I lost two pounds of fucking liquid did, right there. Did you weigh yourself before you went in the bathroom? I did not. Yeah. Put a scale out there. Uh, I should. I mean, why don't they put toilets on scales? What? Like, why wouldn't you just have your toilet connected to a scale? Why would you do that? Well, because you could get on well, before you poop, and you could like do a tear weight. And then you could just poop, and then when you're done, you look what you're done. Like, oh, my God, I just lost a half pound of poop. Well, like, I have a scale in my bathroom. I get on. I'd see how much I weigh, and then I'd take a shit. Yeah, but um, Americans are lazy. Like, let's, let's do one step. It's, like, at the door. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That, that would be a weird scale toilet. Toilet scale it. I don't know. Scale, what did I say? Scale it? The fuck is scale it? Scale. I, this is your language, man. I'm just here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to find some, some cool articles to talk about. Did you know that New York Times? Fuck, I hate them. Fucking assholes. I found an article, and it was New York Times, and I clicked New York Times, and the screen pops over the article saying, you have to subscribe. Is this recent? Like, No, they just had this for a long time. Mm. But then I can just look up the same article on another source yeah, without, and without, read the without, whole thing. Without the fucking pop-up. They're yeah. so full of sh- shit, yeah. like... Get over yourself. Yeah, I, I mean, so... <laughs> like, nobody's going to fucking subscribe and pay you money for something they can read somewhere else. I do the same thing. I see, like, on, you know, I, I'm a, I'm an Apple guy. Yeah. And uh, sometimes there's an article that pops up. You got to have this. I'm like, fuck you. And I'll just go search it on the internet for somewhere else. Yeah. It's like, if, if, if they had good content or it wasn't available somewhere else, no. then I'm like, okay, yeah, I got to pay. I get it. Um. Because, I mean, we always subscribe to stuff. I mean, yeah. we, I have so many subscription payments. Of course, you got to pay for it to, to get it, to get it done, to, to use it for work or whatever. But something that I can just go to another source and just read the same fucking article, yeah, the, I'm not going to pay you for it. The payment, you know, when it makes sense, I, I, you know, everybody does this. And some people, I guess, don't. But, like, um, the, the payment, and, and I, I don't understand... Again, I think it's it's convenience because we're we're a we're a convenience based country, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe you want to read it and you just click to pay. I, I don't I don't know how much it is to pay. Like, is it a buck or is it like a yearly? Or, I don't know. know. It's probably like I don't remember. It's probably a few bucks a month. Or, yeah, I don't give a fuck about it that much. So I mean, I'll wait for it's three to be three days old and I'll read it then. They're probably they're uh, probably all get their articles from AP anyways. Yeah. So. Whatever. Yeah, well, I know. I know we're kind of we're kind of in this long term right now f- for this episode, but yeah. I just wanted to. I, I did have a thought earlier today about the question of the week. Oh, it wasn't. Let's do it. <laughs> it wasn't. It's not the Rosie versus Wilbur. This one is basically. I I, I and I'll I ask drink. you, and I you can, you can wait till next week, so people can get back to us to hear your answer. Oh, I don't have to answer now. Uh well, you got to give some sort of idea so that you All right, can't let's hear it. think let's about this. Oh, so. Let's just get right into it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, when it comes to your ass, <laughs> anybody's ass, but specifically I'm talking to you right now, would you rather a fing, uh, I'm sorry, a finger, a tongue, a penis, or other in your ass? And then, and then separately, you know, people that answer us, male or female. For, but you don't you don't have to answer now, but I want I want you to know. I want some clarification. <laughs> how, how much clearer? I'm not going to draw you a diagram or Hold show on. you a live video. <laughs> I mean, we can, I can show you right now if you want to see. Like, 
And I also don't have to have it either. You what? I don't have to have it either. But no, no, there's that's not an option. You got to pick one of these. <laughs> what are the options? Finger, tongue, penis, or other. Like a cucumber or um, a sex toy. That's other? Other, yeah. Other is not f- <laughs> finger, tongue, or penis. Like, <laughs> First... First, you're talking about my dick. <laughs> you tell, asking me what, you, what I want in my ass. Yeah, whatever you want. I mean, this uh, is judgment free here. I just, uh, I, I'm just curious. I know. I don't give a fuck. And I want to know if you're male or female. <laughs> I'm a male. Okay. <laughs> Got that one out of the way. That's an easy one. Tongue, I guess. Yeah, I'll go with tongue. Why tongue? I don't know. Soft, wet, hot. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I go with cat tongue. Because it's like bumpy. What the? F- <laughs> Where did that come from? I didn't say what kind of thing. I just thought about it. Like cat tongue, like kind of rough. You know, like I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm never gonna do this. But if I had to, I guess I'd. Be... <laughs> I guess I'd. Say, it's I like can't. sandpaper. I don't know. But we, we could come back to this because there, there's other choices. So let's, let's come back to this. Let's see what people say, but I think I think we've had enough of this alcohol this episode, so we could probably oh end it right God. now. Yeah, that's at this point this is alcohol yeah. talking. <laughs> Happy National Beer Day, everybody. Thank you for supporting us. Talk to you soon. Happy National Beer Day. Follow us on social media and thank you for everyone's support and listening to us. Have a good day. Bye.